Let's learn how to add a long shadow to editable text in Illustrator in this quick and simple tutorial. So in a blank document, let's start with the type tool. Let's just click and write some generic text. So texture, select it with selection tool. I'm going to make this a little bigger using the transform tools. And if I come to my character panel, I can add a little styling to this text. So let's go with Bevis New. Once I'm happy with my text, let's collapse this character panel and we want to go to the appearance panel. So go to window appearance, click add new fill and click and drag this fill underneath the characters. Select the fill, press FX and come to distort and transform and transform. In the transform effect panel, under move, set your horizontal to 0.1 and your vertical to 0.1. Make sure you've got the preview set on. And now all you have to do is add a large number to the number of copies to create your long shadow. So for example, if we put 200, check preview, there we go. I can increase this to say 1000, press preview. You see I get a longer shadow. And I can also use up and down on the arrow keys to increase or decrease the number of copies. I believe a thousand is as high as you can go. However, I'm not sure that might be dependent on your version. But once you're happy, simply click OK. And now if we put this to the test, select the type. And as you can see, I can type whatever I like and the long shadow is applied to the editable text. I want to make changes to the shadow. I do this in the appearance panel so I can change the fill color if I like using the swatches and I could also decrease the opacity if I want the shadow to blend with a color or an image behind it. Now if I want to make changes to the text itself I need to go in with the type tool command or control A to highlight all text and then if we use the fill color down here we can now select a new color with the color picker press OK. And if I just press selection and come off, you can see now the text itself has changed color and the long shadow has stayed the same. So there you have it. That's so to apply a long shadow to editable text in Illustrator. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.